Welcome everyone. Today my guests are Lucilla Sperber and Sofia Acheval, the two founders of Acheval Pampa, a brand, a fashion label based in Paris and in Buenos Aires. I'm very excited to have both of them as guests and uh, it's very special because uh, Sofia is in Paris, Lucilla is in um, Buenos Aires and I'm currently in New York. Very international, right? Hello everyone, welcome. Hi Sabine. I see Sophia is here. And I see her request. Feel free to share your questions for Lucilla and Sophia in comments. Hi Sophie. the three of us today. Hello, Hello Sophia. Oh. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. How Hi, are you? Hi. Hi. So great to have you. Hi. How are you? Um, Thank you for it's having It's not us. very it's clear. Okay. I don't know for our friends here, but it's a bit blurry. But I guess I, I can hear you well. Can you see me well? Oh, now it looks fine. It's, now it's okay for me. Yeah. We, okay. We, perfect. Yeah, yeah. I was saying it's so special that we are reunited today. You're in Paris, you're in Buenos Aires, and I'm in New York. That's so great. Yes, it's very international. <laughs> so cool. cool. <laughs> and for us, it's quite normal because we work like that yes. a lot uh, in between Argentina and Paris, uh, Buenos Aires and Paris. So it's you're very, very normal for us. To. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Time difference and, and everything. It's How do you manage the time difference? L l last time, well, I have to get up very early because here we are five hours in advance uh, uh, before earlier. So, and Sophia has to uh, get down uh, to bed a little bit uh, late uh, because we are five <laughs> hours away usually. Uh, but uh, we travel a lot, so we yes, see you come each other to Paris very often, right? Very often, very often, and to Milano, and we we all, always go because to New York. You present in Milano? Oh so, yes, yes, uh, we do present in Milano, like uh, every, like every every two fashion mm -hmm. weeks, we always do Milano. Uh, last time uh, was. Uh, we launched it in the yeah. store at Milano. Uh, so we uh, so we usually uh, do like every two fashion oh, weeks in okay. Milano. Also. And last season, well, in March, you also had a big event in Paris. Such a cool party! I was fortunate enough to attend. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. So we, it was so we, fun. Yes. We love to have you. And actually, uh, for yes. us, it's always an amazing opportunity, not only to show, well, that time was a collaboration we did with Andina, mm -hmm. that is a, a very beautiful brand that does ponchos uh, done in Argentina, in the north of Argentina. And they work to highlight the local communities and to protect uh, the ancestral skills. So right. for us, it was very important uh, to show this and to show it uh, in Paris and in a fashion week where everybody comes from all over the world. And we decided to do something fun at Castel, that is a club uh, <laughs> mythique, <laughs> we say in French. And uh, we said, let's do a dinner and a party and make it fun. And we invited uh, friends and journalists and, and VIPs. And, and it was a very um, relaxed. So it's a, a, we always feel that it's more special when it doesn't feel corporate or feel stiff, but it's more like a moment where you just have fun and at the same time you, you can see the collection. Yeah, for sure. Yes, because it's, it, it's all the time about uh, showing our universe uh, to the people, to our direct to consumer, to our uh, to our uh, public in the fashion business so uh, it's uh, all, all the time uh, important for mm -hmm. us to talk about our and can universe. we go back to the beginnings how did you two met how did you two meet sorry uh, 
Uh, well, we met, yes, uh, we, we met here at uh, Argentina in Buenos Aires. We were both working uh, for the Rochas Men's Wear campaign. And uh, we uh, instantly clicked because uh, we started talking about uh, our links with uh, Paris and our, see, our, our feelings about how uh, the people globally feel about our roots. Uh, so uh, we started talking about all, all those things and we instantly uh, started mm -hmm. Uh, yes, about it, it was it was a connection. It's those things that happen very rarely. Uh, yeah, I, I call we, it friendship at first sight. <laughs> exactly, it's like it's that so cool when it happens. When it can, happens, it's great because it's also a, like a couple, no? Because uh, sometimes I say I I see more uh, Lucilla than my own <laughs> couple. So in a way, it's a great uh, thing that happened. We met. We had the same uh, idea, the same concept. We knew exactly what we wanted. That it was very similar from the start. Mm -hmm. We wanted a brand that uh, was inspired from the gauchos, from the Western world, from Argentina, and. Uh, of course, for a contemporary woman, for a modern woman, because we are women that live in the real world. So we, we, we wanted to get inspired from that and to show it to the world. Mm. And that was the main concept. Uh, we built it with a group of investors, uh, young investors, Argentine also, that uh, are very successful in, in their businesses. They, were, they all trusted the idea from the beginning. We knew that we needed a um, financial backup to be able to do what we wanted to do. And we started uh, quite uh, big. We can say of, even if it's a small brand, we had a lot of ideas of things that we wanted to do. We did a presentation in Paris with Lucien Pages. Mm -hmm. um, so right away, um, we had a lot of support from press. We had French Vogue, W doing an article. Um, French Vogue is a big supporter with the ponchos and all the, the, the gaucho style. Uh, and yes, the I saw really uh, also uh, Eugenie who wrote Eugenie. Uh, In Fille and Steel. Exactly, yeah. mm -hmm. Eugenie, big supporter. Yeah. Uh, she's been always uh, wearing our clothes, even Vogue Italia. So it's been for us uh, an amazing support, not only from press, but from buyers. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, we have very good retailers also around the world. And, and can I ask you, um, I have two questions. First, for those of us who don't know what gauchos are, uh, can you explain uh, briefly what, what they are and why you were so inspired by this, um, by well, this figure? They, <laughs> they, are, they are, yes, they are workers of the land mm. of the Pampas. The Pampa region is between Argentina, Brazil, mm -hmm. and Uruguay. That is why we produce all our okay. clothing in Uruguay mainly. It's a very green country. And the gauchos uh, are the okay. workers of the land. So they are always horse riding and they live in contact with nature and they understand the nature mm -hmm. in a very particular yes, and way. They dress. And they yes. are always with their They dress. Uh, they, yes. Yeah. And, they, and they have this silhouette. They have this silhouette that is very comfortable to ride in the the horses and the yes, the it's a very um, unisex style. So we always created, even if it's men that wear it on the horse, uh, we be, we do it also for women. And in general, they're wearing beautiful hats. The panchos, the bombachas, they're a bit like balloon. Mm -hmm. uh, they wear the boots. They wear the ponchos, but they really wear it, and they wear it for to work. And it's incredible how sophisticated it's it's this look. And we always uh, looked at it, even when we were kids, and we thought, how beautiful can that be to create a collection inspired of that? And being Argentine, we felt it was our duty kind of, <laughs> uh, to show. To show this yeah. uh, incredible inspiration and, and, and we adapt it in, in different things. Like uh, we do also dresses, we do uh, blouses, we, do, we also have accessories, we have bags, we have jewelry like this that we're wearing now. Mm -hmm. This is a collaboration that we did with an Argentine artist called Luna Paiva. Mm -hmm. And she uh, hand, handmade all of these pieces. These are the zodiac signs. 
And this, this was uh, produced for uh, Lafayette Champs-Élysées. It was Clara okay. Cornet that uh, requested this. And we did also a big event when they opened uh, Lafayette Champs-Élysées. So it was a great uh, opportunity to show it. Mm. So you've always been inspired by that style, yes, and... by that uh, silhouette. Exactly. If... Yes. All, all the time when we both travel around the world, everyone asks us, well, where's that poncho from? Where's that, uh, that pant from? Uh, how is that dress done? Uh, so we both felt the same about the, the need mm. to communicate all okay. this. And I said, I have two questions. Now I can't remember my other questions, but it's okay. <laughs> maybe Curious about uh, sustainability, maybe. Uh, or... uh, yeah, sure. Because so it's mm. interesting that you manufacture everything in Uruguay, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You the feel really way... strongly about this. Uruguay is the greenest country, uh, one of the greenest countries in the world. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a country uh, beside Argentina, for those people who don't know it. And it's uh, a very, very good for manufacture. They are incredible in the finishes, uh, in the quality of the production. So we chose Uruguay because we wanted to be in the Pampa region, as Lucila was saying, and we felt it was important that it was made over there. So in, a, in our labels, it says, Acheval Pampa, made in the Pampas. So mm. that's something that is very important where, is, where it is produced. Mm. And, uh, and yeah. how did you come up with the name, Acheval Pampa? <laughs> well, it, it's, uh, it's about the conjunction mm -hmm. between on the horse, the A with the French accent, and also because uh, Sofia comes from this family that is uh, very well known here in the Pampas, and that has to do with the Pampas, mm -hmm. and it, she's called Achaval, Achaval. Uh, so we conjunct those two words, uh, France and the Pampas and the Gauchos, and it's a, it's a little yes, bit Yes, I like see. A it's a... But and actually oh, for a, a long horse, time, I Acheval thought the name of the, the brand was Acheval, not Acheval. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yes. sure I'm not the only one, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit yeah. uh, tricky, yeah. but that's the idea. It's, uh, yeah. it's actually, we're playing with these words. And uh, also because when, when I moved to Paris, people would, would think I was called Acheval because I came from Argentina. So I, <laughs> I always thought that was funny. And we talked about it with Lucila and Acheval. It's a whole uh, universe uh, with the horse. And for us, it's the main inspiration. So it's, it was just a perfect name for the brand. Mm -hmm. And you are, sorry. Yes, I, th I think that it's, it's important to note that uh, coming from abroad, it was very important from the beginning to really have a chance to communicate what we wanted. We had to synthesize all the concepts as right. simple as possible. So uh, our, our resources uh, in terms of communication had, had to be very clear. intelligent yes. and very synthetic. Mm. So very clear, exactly. Uh, I think that uh, seeing now, now uh, what happened then when we launched, that it was like a big fuss and a big su a success, it had to do with this strategy mm. of being super And clear. you're both more visual persons. Uh, or Sophia, I think you have also a background as a designer or more yes. as a stylist, no, uh, as a designer as well. Yes, both. Actually, I, study, I, I moved to Paris to study fashion design at Studio Berceau. Mm -hmm. So I studied uh, design and then I worked with Vanessa Seward in Nazaro as in the studio de création. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where all the French words. <laughs> but I worked, I worked with her um, and I literally learned everything with her. Oh. She's an, an incredible person, an incredible yes, designer. Is. You know, she came to Sunday Night Live as well. Uh, Ah, yes. I didn't know that. I will watch She was it. Uh, in the first ah. season, I guess. She's, the first year, yeah. She, she's incredible. We love ah. her. She's been we love a big her. supporter, yeah. uh, like a godmother uh, since the beginning. And uh, she, she, well, we... I, we, I learned everything with her, and after that, I was, uh, I was a fashion editor at large at V Magazine for several okay. years. 
So working for V also gave me another side of, of fashion as a stylist. And, but my real dream was to build my own brand. So when we met with Lucila and we could build the brand, uh, it became a dream come true and, and, and where I could do literally whatever I dreamt. So it's, mm. it's, it's incredible. Yeah, and uh, I, I, I come from creative direction. I uh, was brand manager of Rochas Menswear at that time. I uh, worked a lot in communications mm -hmm. and advertising. And uh, at that moment, I was like uh, six years working uh, in fashion. Uh, so uh, we both have this aspect that has to do with design, communication, conceptualization. Mm. And do you and have a, a studio, a team of designers as well to help you? Yeah, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> yeah. We, we are both uh, co-founders yeah, well, and creative directors uh, of, of the brand, but we have a team, you know, of course, we, we decide the collections together and then we just work with a team in everything that is um, design of more the details, the, 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 the finitions. And I think that, that, what, that what is uh, super special and a little bit magic about a cheval is that we... Sorry, I had my earphone. Uh, that from the very start we worked on the on the ancient archives of uh, of Argentina. So the silhouettes are worked on mm -hmm. pre-existent mm -hmm. uh, models uh, that we that we structure with little details in another way, so they will look modern and very uh, um, fashionable. Uh, so the people that work with us are not only designers, but uh, they come from different uh, uh, different uh, uh, right. uh, segments uh, of the communications, and uh, we have people that uh, that are um, uh, art historians. We have uh, people that come from film. Uh, so mm. uh, that makes. And it very do you know uh, is how is the fashion scene in Argentina? Argentina is, well, I let, I let, well, I let Lucille. Yeah. No, Argentina yeah, yeah. is a city yeah, yeah. that is uh, incredible because it's very cultural. It's very uh, big. Uh, many things happen, uh, not only in, in literature, cinema, uh, theater, and also fashion. There's a very important fashion week mm -hmm. in Buenos Aires. Uh, and more and more with uh, Instagram and and. Uh, réseau social, how we say it in French, <laughs> uh, more, uh, they're showcasing more what's happening over there, but it's, it's really interesting and there are very good designers and very good schools of design. So mm. it's, a, it's a very important market. It's interesting because I went, and I know, Sofia, you were there yes. too, in, in, to Mumbai recently, and I feel there are similarities, the way that Indian, the Indians really feel strongly about the sari, about the traditional silhouettes and shapes. Exactly. And that's super important. It's super important. And uh, in Argentina, for many years, people were trying to copy or to have more the European style or the American style. And lately, this uh, last maybe 10 years, uh, there's, a more, uh, there's a bigger conscious about our own roots. And that it, that's what makes us special. That's what makes us different. And that's why people want to go there. But it started lately. So I think now there are more and more new designers reinventing our own classical mm -hmm. roots. Like, like mm -hmm. you say, in India, the sari or for us would be the poncho, the gaucho style, the hats, etc. And reinvented thinking uh, to sell abroad and to and what people come for uh, when they come to Argentina. Now they're looking for that. That's what they want to see also. Mm -hmm. And I really like that uh, this style is also yes. very um, genderless, as you mentioned. Exactly, it it's looks unisex. so sharp on uh, on women. <laughs> totally, it's unisex and it's very sophisticated. It, yes, it's, it's, it's so these are clothes. We build a brand thinking of clothes you can wear from day to night mm -hmm. uh, without changing. That is what happens to us all the time. I imagine to you also, Laura, when you yes. go, I don't know, you're in fashion week, you do all the shows and then you have to go from there to a dinner. You don't have time yep. to go back home. So the idea is like, how do women want to wear or men uh, the, today? And, and that's what we think a lot uh, when we build the collection. Yes, in in, a, in our in our first uh, collection, we did mm -hmm. the gaucho pants in sequins, 
and it was a big hit uh, that we have it until today. And uh, it's very interesting uh, how here in Argentina, we are always consulted since we, since we launched Al Cheval. Uh, we are a, a quite big leading case here uh, in, in, the, in the area uh, because they, everyone has all these questions about how we translate it so well, our spirit, and still do something super original mm -hmm. that everyone wants to wear. Um, and I feel that it's a mixture uh, between the gaucho and the other aspects of our roots, like the tango, the football, the, the polo, uh, and uh, all the equestrian world. Um, with, uh, what, so we choose uh, mm -hmm. what we are going to be speaking about, perhaps poetry, perha perhaps Borges, perhaps, perhaps uh, uh, Victoria Ocampo, uh, that are uh, great writers and uh, uh, poets and uh, and and Messi uh, and yes. Maradona. Uh, so we we have all these uh, these uh, huge concepts uh, that we okay. uh, yes. translate and little by little. For example, we Sorry. did the um, the World Cup T-shirt that was mm -hmm. a big success, and also the Maradona T-shirt. So it was like a love letter to Maradona with a ten and with the Boca uh, colors. The, yellow and blue <laughs> and these are unisex pieces that we sell mainly uh, online mm -hmm. in our own e-commerce and uh, they're great they work really well uh, people want it right away and then we s we sent it also as a gift to all our friends vips that put it on and posted photos and it created a whole buzz and we try to work uh, in, in drops, in these kind of drops that we sell directly in our e-commerce that is more, much more agile and much more fast in, in, in the way of communicating. And we feel very identified with this new uh, concept of uh, DTC and drops. And, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And you mentioned that the first yeah. year, uh, yeah. it was very, it was a big buzz. Uh, everyone was talking about it. And last mm -hmm. week I had as a guest, Alexandra Van Hout, the uh, founder yes. of Tag Walk, And she said the first year is the easiest one because it's it the is. beginning and you can, well, when it's a big mm -hmm. and sharp concept, you get lots of press, etc. But yeah. then the challenges come. <laughs> yes, so, the real so, world. The real yeah, exactly. comes. <laughs> yes, so, so, yes, and that's true. And that's true. Uh, first, before you launch something that is totally new, you are super uh, uh, conscious, conscious about yeah. all the things that can go wrong. So you have to make it happen. When you make it happen, there's a big buzz and everything yeah. seems to be super easy. And then you have to work like double, like triple mm -hmm. to think how you can escalate because yes. you have to escalate fast. You have to escalate fast enough to have your your resources um, bigger and bigger mm -hmm. to be able to reach more people. So uh, so that's that's the real challenge. Uh, how do you say, yeah. Safio? The, the real challenge. The real challenge. Uh, I think that uh, we manage that very well, even in, during COVID, uh, where we have uh, this uh, big thing uh, yeah. which we call keep moving. Uh, which we launched with me, Car Garañas. Uh, so uh, all these steps that we did strategically that had to be back up with production and with logistics and with uh, a lot of work and a lot of teamwork uh, went very, very good. And we were able to reach uh, the mm -hmm. steps that we had to reach strategically. And even now we are working in our next step. So. Uh, it's uh, uh, super important to be um, to be very modest in a way to understand that you right. And how do you keep the interest of of customers because uh, there's the novelty effect, yes. and when yes. it wears off, and also we know in fashion that there are trends. So everyone was wearing gaucho pants, and yes. how do you keep people interested in the style and keep your yes. DNA? Yeah. We feel uh, we are always conscious about what you're talking. We're conscious that the novelty passes very fast. So mm -hmm. you have to be able to be uh, with, uh, smart enough uh, to be able to keep the attention and, and people interested in the brand. You have to adapt to the different um, trends without losing completely your identity. Because if you change 
completely you won't be anymore <laughs> your yes. own brand. So we were uh, at some point, uh, we saw the trend was starting to be su uh, super sexy, Gen Z, uh, etc. And we said, how can we adapt in a way that we don't lose what we are, that it is, uh, is our own style. So we, we did it in a way that we felt it went very well, because at that point, we started with the drops, we started with a faster communication, we started with the t-shirts, with the unisex, etc. We were having many collaborations happening, like mm -hmm. the perfume, the hat, uh, and the ponchos, Tata Harper. We did oh, Tata you Harper. collaborated with yeah. Tata Harper? Yes, we On collaborated. What? We did, yeah. uh, well, actually, yeah. we were a ponto yeah. that a, is... A, po a, a, a ponto that is, uh, that is for the summer and that is super sustainable because mm -hmm. the cotton is totally upcycled. Uh, and it has uh, this idea of merging mm. in the concept mm. of sustainability. Yeah. Yes. Because Tata is super green uh, about, uh, about all her cosmetics and line of cosmetics. So we joined in our sustainable uh, mm. pro uh, universe. Exactly. So the idea of, of one of our objectives is to um, build a direct to consumer in a stronger way and also to develop the collaboration. So we are working more and more with working with other brands that have different aspects, either Tata Harper because she's very green and we like what she does. We also work with brands, as I told you, Andina or Warmi that were doing the ponchos and they highlight the local production or brands that have nothing to do uh, with exactly what, what is our identity. So that's the idea is to, to be very, um, to move very fast. We, mm -hmm. we think it's important to communicate and to move and to be uh, constantly launching uh, new ideas, new concepts, and, and to be, that's a way to exist. We feel that um, mostly, Big brands also are communicating more and more, doing shows around the world, etc. Yes. And we, so as, as when we saw it in Mumbai, so we feel it's important to to adapt and to be. For us, it's easier because we are a smaller structure, so we can move very fast and we can mm. change and we can adapt. And you still have a network of stores that distribute you in the world. Yes, we do. Yeah. Yeah, we, yes, we started uh, with a consistent mm -hmm. strategy with the wholesalers. So uh, we, sell, we sell to different retails, uh, to the dot-coms and to different stores around the world. And uh, uh, after two years of the launch, we started our direct-to-consumer strategy. Um, we, we included a new investor uh, that is called Arthur Madrid. He is the co-founder oh, of the Sandbox, yeah. the number one world, uh, metaverse world. So he's a partner of Acheval. He loves horses. He loves fashion. And uh, uh, it was very important for us to start working with him in terms of how we will reach our direct to consumer, to, to, directly to our consumer. Um, so we feel that uh, that inclusion uh, was super important mm -hmm. for the next big step. Uh, and uh, we are about uh, to launch um, with a very big uh, Argentinian pop star, globally known, uh, our new sub brand. A? That it will be called Like a. the later? Just uh, yes. and that it will have So it will be a, a separate a brand. A. A. Yes, As it will be a, a separate brand, but part. Yes, of, the, it, of Acheval a, a in a way because we will be to, working together, but it will be for a younger generation. It, it will be linked. Yes, it will be linked, and it's oriented uh, to create engagement to this Gen Z and uh, to this universe that has to do with music and with dance and with uh, with this other aspect uh, which we love a lot, which we which we love here in Argentina because. We so uh, tango and so pop and so uh, we love music. Uh, so uh, it's a very interesting way of um, launching our strong strategy uh, to direct uh, to our yes, so You are so really a serial entrepreneur. Yes, we are. <laughs> we work a lot. We are working yeah. the whole time. Yeah, we, are. It's, it's, <laughs> we are very passionate. That's what we love uh, to do. 
And we, with our tour, uh, Madrid from the Sandbox, uh, it's incredible because he, he became the biggest entrepreneur uh, of the metaverse. He, uh, he invested in many things, but he's, he's the only fashion uh, brand that he invested in. He, he was a big fan of the brand since the beginning. Uh, as Lucilia said, he loves horses, he loves polo, and he loves fashion, and he loves the brand. So he invested and he really uh, thinks with us and talks with us a lot about uh, how uh, to be more in the metaverse and in this new uh, kind of digital world. So that's what we are, we are trying to do with him together. And mm -hmm. that was uh, one of the ideas. That's why we started uh, to have this idea to work with a pop star. Uh, okay. We are finalizing all of this, but it will be uh, very, very interesting. Mm. And for Ash, hope, September? hopefully for September, we can uh, we can launch it in the Fashion Week. Yeah. And will you present in Paris for this? Yes, we would love. Yes, uh, we, uh, yes, we would love to present in Paris. We are presenting uh, in September, as always, in Paris. Um, but uh, hopefully we have this idea of uh, opening uh, these five or six uh, pop-up pop -up stores around the world where you can uh, have this uh, shopping experience that will be new, a merge between technology and a, and a, and a mm -hmm. uh, common mm -hmm. uh, shopping experience. And that we, um, we are working on uh, making those pop up stores totally sustainable with a uh, green energy and that's for so, the new brand or uh, is that for a cheval for the new brand that will be mm -hmm. for that will be for the new brand for, yes. and for a cheval sofia you told me that uh, there's also a pop-up or maybe not a pop-up but in the upcoming hotel of paris society right yes exactly paris society is opening a hotel called yes. Dubai. it's uh well they're having so many incredible restaurants the most beautiful terraces around the world and now yes. they have hotels also and this hotel it's uh, it will be like uh, you can horse ride it's in the countryside um, oh, wow. etc so they they contact us because they felt it was perfect for for the clientele and we are we are having we, they bought the collection but we did some special things for them also in collaboration so we are very excited with the opening of this and um, it, it, it's in the french countryside right yes french mm -hmm. countryside Near not paris? far from paris not far, cool. yes. I think it's like an hour away. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Hope, hopefully, we can, yes. we can <laughs> in there again. Person that would and be hor horse ride right together. <laughs> For the long Do you horse ride? Yes. I, uh, well, we both horse ride. I, I actually grew mainly well, in Buenos Aires, but most of my vacations were in the countryside. Uh, my family uh, works in the farm. They have... Uh, uh, the business is in the in the countryside so um i've been there my whole life i, I almost grew in the horses and uh, it's very natural for for me to to horse ride yes i really like it oh i would like to yeah yeah me too and though all our friends have, have this wonderful country oh, really? uh, so it's farm. so so common in Argentina. It here, yes, yes, it is. The, the land is incredible. It's There's a lot of one. space in Argentina. So it's easier to, mm. to, to go horse riding. I used to horse ride and I fell and people would tell me, you have to get back at it right away, otherwise you would never do it. And <laughs> I true. was like, no, it's okay. I have time. And I never got back to it. <laughs> it's so. true. Ah, yes. Well, Will, That's a perfect way to start again. <laughs> exactly. And in a stylish way. <laughs> exactly. Very chic. So if you fall, nothing will happen. You will look perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. It has been thank such you, a Laura. pleasure to have you both. And thank I can't you. wait to, uh, to see uh, what you. you have in, um, yeah, for us in, uh, for the future. We will invite you to the next uh, Fashion course. Week. You will be part of our event and we will send you, of course, all the news yes. and, and let you know what's Thank happening. You. Thanks so much. So Thank have you, a Laura. great uh, evening, Sofia, and a great afternoon, um, Lucila, and uh, see you soon. And, see you soon. Thank and you for thanks, the everyone, Thank you. for joining. Thanks.
Thanks. Thanks for thanks so much. Thanks. Bye. 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 Ciao. Bye.